Hey guys, it's Tara. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, it's an absolutely... God, it's gorgeous out today. Um, it's a little chilly, but I'm like loving it. And um, I kind of set up a little thing outside, so I am outside. So if you hear a lot of birds chirping, that's why. <laughs> but um, I wanted to share this um, canvas with you guys today I made this um, for Crafty City and I'm just gonna bring it up a little so you guys can see it and then I'm gonna show you everything that I used and I really had a lot of fun making this um, it's something different and out of the box um, and it's kind of I don't know it kind of reminds me of summer and just I don't know there's like a real um, denim craze going on now so I'm just going to show you kind of where my inspiration came from <laughs> which it's kind of funny because I wind up not even using them but um these are just little four by four denim um like canvases from Michaels and um I originally wanted to use these um but then once I started thinking about it I was like eh I wind up with this so but anyway um so I started out with literally going into my closet <laughs> and finding the most worn out pair of jeans that I could possibly find. And um, I basically went to town cutting up. Um, at first I didn't know what I really wanted my background to be. Um, I found that I had this little um, burlap panel um, in my sash. Um, I believe it's an 8x10. So I started out with actually using just regular gesso and instead of like a brush or anything, um, I used my palette knife and kind of watered down the gesso and started creating my background. So I started with that and then I'm going to show you the sprays that I used. I used All Glimmer Mist um, by Tattered Angels. This is the copper. I used that one. This one is Vanilla Breeze. Sorry guys. Um, this one is walnut gold and I kind of just woven burlap. They're lighter colors and sand. So it just blended really well into this, um, burlap and with using a canvas that has kind of more of a fabric, um, it really soaks up the mists, which I really like. So I started out with that. Um, and then I got out my um, stencil. This is the new Finnabar stencil. It's the um, chicken wire. Hope you guys can see it. I know it's kind of glary, but um, I use that. Um, and I actually just put it over the entire background and then sprayed over it a little bit, but it wasn't coming out dark enough. Um, you know, I wanted to see it a little bit more. So what I did was I just used this little Prima inker in white and pressed it down in certain areas. And as you can see, it did totally bleed, but I'm totally fine with that because it just makes it look even more distressed. Um, and then I use these two Finnabar stamps, the honeycomb, and then this is a new one. Uh, uh, what is this? I don't know. It's like crackle, I believe. And then I used um, my walnut stain, and then I just used for the honeycomb, I just because I wanted that to kind of show up a little bit more I just use this regular permanent memento ink and um, I really love the way the background was so then I started out cutting up my pockets um, and cutting up the jeans and these were from American Eagle so I cut out American from this here and the artist was actually um, in the inside of the jean. It was a, the name of the jean was called Artist Stretch. And so I thought it was absolutely perfect. So when I saw that, that's kind of where my title came from, American Artist. Um, and all of this here, you see all these fibers and all of the fabric is just ripped up from this pair of jeans. This was the little label that was on the back. All of this stuff is um, like the um, washing instructions and then here's the little size tag back there um, I just wanted it to be really grungy and I also up here sorry my hands are so stained um, up here I used one of the loops so um, okay so for 
the chipboard, um, the I used um, creative embellishments, and this is um, the chicken wire, the distressed chicken wire, and I love these because you can cut it up and use them many, many times because you don't use the whole thing. So I just used a few pieces throughout. And then this is another one. This is a um, timepiece clock, and I just cut it in half because you weren't going to see the whole thing. And I inked um, all the chipboard with um, walnut stain. I just wanted it to be a little bit darker, okay? And then um, these are just paintbrushes from my stash. And then also these little buttons right here, I just cut them off of the jean. Those were the... Um, the buttons and um, this little clock piece right here is from the Prima resins and these are like really big and really thick but I love them and I can't wait to like alter this little thing here that's like my next thing every time I pull something out I'm like ooh I can't wait to work on that but okay so let me not get off topic um, this flower cluster right here is from one of these Prima vines and um, this and the resins um, can be found at Crafty City um, or Secret Garden on Facebook. So um, th this was a two pack. I just used the um, darker one and I did cut it up a little bit to place it where I wanted. And then um, here are a few of the Tim Holtz um, trinkets I used. I used these trinket pins. I used one of them right here. I hope you guys can see okay right here and it just said snippets on it um and then you can see that i have that little dangle there i just added a um what are these called these little circle things geez i can't even think of it right now and then i used one of these um chain dangles. okay guys i'm back i'm sorry i got cut off um my battery died but as i was explaining to you before with the little dangle here all i used is a jump ring i just couldn't think of it I was having a little brain freeze moment there okay so I also used some of these um, Tim Holtz belt buckles I used it right there and it went perfectly with this project I also used one of these philosophy tags and it says art form I kind of just stuck it up under there and then I also used two of these um, Prima junkyard finding street signs it says my place and then there is a little one under here that is a number one. So I'm just going to lift it up a little bit so you guys can see it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Everything you see, you know, basically here is just pulled from um, the jeans. Like this little tag is from um, the pocket, the little size label there. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon.